The application to demolish the old casino building on Europa Road and replace it with 111 high-end apartments has been with the Development and Planning Commission for almost a year. Developer Greg Butcher addressed the meeting again and warned that the old casino building will fall down on its own and could destroy the historical tanks that lie underneath. He said throughout the entire planning process he had consulted and listened as he presented his revised plans for the development. The Commission welcomed his approach and acknowledged his good record, adding afterwards that most of the points they had previously raised had now been addressed. The DPC agreed that option C was preferable, as it contained a greater degree of greenery, but said more was needed. This, Mr Butcher explained, would involve engaging experts at considerable cost, as incorporating trees and greenery into a vertical structure was highly complex, and further designs would cost upwards of half a million pounds. He said he would need to know exactly what the DPC wanted to avoid spending the money only for the plans to be rejected later on. However, the meeting was soon split on how to proceed and whether or not the application should be put to a vote. The ESG said its objections went further than the amount of greenery, adding it was opposed to the size of the building as well as its location. Minister for the Environment John Cortez pointed out that there was a balance to be had between preserving the water tanks and the visual impact of the building. While the Gibraltar Ornithological and Natural History Society highlighted that outline planning permission for the project had already expired. On this, the acting DPC chairman said the development had already been agreed in principle. Mr Butcher was invited to comment again and said it would be difficult to produce further designs without further clarity and some certainty that the project will go ahead, something the ESG continued to strongly oppose. After further discussion and with considerable push from Minister John Cortez, it was agreed the project should be deferred pending a revision to option C, when the Deputy Chief Minister Joseph Garcia assured the plans could either be accepted, rejected or deferred again. I think we're seeing a number of factors coming together here. Um, over years there have been lots of different projects being put forward and um, because of the retaining of the, of the tanks, of the heritage tanks that are large and is forcing the project to be even taller and larger, uh, that's obviously a good reflection, if you like, of values that have been protected, which is heritage. But as was discussed at the Commission, um, conservation values are equally important. So anything that you put in there should fit into what is there and not um, try and mask uh, a natural uh, habitat, which it clearly can't. It is uh, 111 apartments we're talking about here. It's a massive building. A building, remember, already exists there. It's the old casino, but the old casino has concrete cancer. And it will fall down. There's no doubt it will fall down. It was also wrongly built. And I think we will give you a photo later of bottles which are actually in the floors. Now, in the seismic shock of several years ago, part of the building actually fell down. If the building falls down, it will destroy the tanks. So you can't do nothing, that, 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 i.e. you have to do something. Then it's, well, what alternative is there? Should you put more green on the, on the southern side, or more green on the northern side, or more green on the eastern side, or more green on, on the back? Or so it's, it, it's many different views, and that's what we're trying to do. And, and of course, when you're getting, the more people you talk to, the more views you would get, although no one opposes the idea. Everybody knows it should happen, and it should be done. It's just exactly how should it be done. And that's the challenge. In a later statement, the reserve development said the plans had been recommended for approval by the DPC on the 20th of June, pending further clarifications which it provided today. It confirmed it has consulted landscape developers based in Milan, but due to time constraints, the level of detail still required perfecting in order for a decision to be made. The statement says an enormous amount of research, studies and reports have been conducted, adding, however, that it is only right the consultation process is followed. The reserve apologised to its prospective purchasers and thanks them for their patience.